Good afternoon, everybody. It's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. And I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And this is this week's Teach Me Tuesdays Ooh, episode. I think it's 105. Hold on. I told myself to get that number. Yes, 105. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to do the fun um, paper pumpkin kit. That is November gifts galore. And the box is adorable. I love when they do fun stuff with the boxes. And this one is so cute with the snowflakes and everything on it. So they wrap them pretty good. Now they have cellophane on them so they're not written all over. But sometimes they still get a little damaged. So um, that's on the back. But anyways. I usually have them in my um, cupboard and I'll put certain things in them. Sometimes all I've done is I've stacked them in the back of the cupboard and they keep my stamp sets because my cupboard is a little wider and they keep the stamp sets from being pushed too far back into the cupboard. So these are these are kind of like um, like a stopper. So I have like, I just kind of stack them back there and then I have little boxes that if I need to use them later I do. Um, because they're, they're super, super sized to have. All right, so I'm just going to make sure I'm in the right spot. I came on here. Um, I did. I'm pre-taping only because I. Um, so I'm just watching, right? Because um, I have a doctor's appointment at three o'clock, which is usually my my um, live time. And I didn't want to miss um, this week because I missed so much while all my recovery was going on. And I wanted to show the cute paper pumpkin. Plus it's the last day of November. So there's lots of stuff going on in regards to being the last day. So I wanted to um, remind you of that as well. So I'm going to turn the phone and get started. All right, so I just want to make sure that you can see. I don't want to be too high up, but at least I can stand up now. Okay, hold on a minute. So I just have a little stack of paper. I still have kind of a little mess on my desk, but that's okay. All right, so don't forget that today is the day I will be doing my customer selector with the mini catalogs so that um, you'll get the new um, mini catalog and the celebration in the mail. But if you have not ordered at least $50 in the last six months, you want to make sure you do that by today. All right. Um, because then you'll be on, you'll come up in my list and I'll have your information. Otherwise you won't come up on my list. If you have not placed an order within the last six months. All right. Then, now, if you're in my stamp club, you know, a paper pumpkin, you know, things like that, that, that's a little different, then yes, you know, you'll, of course, but then you'll come up on my thing. But anyways, all right. So also, um, if you have not placed that order, right, and you're putting, you're like, oh my gosh, I do want the mini catalog. So you're putting a $50 order in. I have a country dozen rewards sheet. And when you order $50, and that's in one order. Um, it's not a cumulative like my goodies and guts. And this is just $75 in the month, which could be three different orders, right? As long as they value $75 um, in the month. The rewards are a little different. You get one egg for every 50 before the tax and shipping. And then what I do is I just send you this um, little um, chart to fill out. When I email your thank you, um, it's just like attached, so you can print it out and keep track of it. And then you fill it out. Sometimes I have double eggs. Um, but anyway, so this is the chart. You want to um, read the, um, not rules, but read the, um, the stuff in the bottom here. Because the eggs do retire um, after a year. You don't want a stinky egg in your basket, for sure. So anyway, so that um, is going on there. That always is going on. All right, what else is going on? All right, so this is the goodies and guts. So this is the last day to earn November's goodies or guts. And like I said, this is just, you know, if you've ordered 75 within the month, a cumulative. This one um, can be a couple orders to get up to that before tax and shipping. 
then you just let me know if you want the subtle summer shimmer sequins say that five times fast or the guts and then um, I'll get those in the mail to you now the guts um, this month I'm like looking at them so this month you will do them all right like sometimes I'll have like um, one like the um, the guts for December is going to be one of the calendars and it will be finished you'll just have to tell me which calendar you want but with this one you will need to make these um, so like your little puppy piece will be in there because that's just DSP but everything else and these are DSPs those little cookie shapes but any of the stamping you'll have to do on your own nothing will be stamped so you can just use the guts with what you have at home or if you want to make the card identical and you don't have that then that's the perfect time to get the pieces you need um, with with your order all right also this is the last day to be using the November host code right there if you are ordering over 150 then you don't want to use the code if you are ordering 150 then you want to do the starter kit because you can actually get hundred and twenty five dollars worth of whatever you want not hostess sets um, and it's only 75 plus tax stamping up even pays the shipping so even if you know you you want to be a hobby demonstrator that was me 23 years ago I just wanted the discount no big deal I think most of my team I bet over half of my team are hobby demonstrators and I welcome hobby demonstrators business demonstrators I welcome everybody we have a great group all right let's not forget the last chance now I showed you this the other day in the catalog I print I um, pointed out all the stuff that is retiring all the stuff that is coming back some of the carryover some stuff won't come back till the next holiday mini catalog so if there's things that you want to work on through the year and you need them you want to grab them now there's actually um, some discounted prices on some things um, up to half off on some things but that doesn't start till tomorrow December the 1st but keep in mind things are running out already like I went to order um, oh the ribbon the really fun shredded ribbon I know it's not called shredded ribbon but it's just pretty pretty ribbon and it's gone already so if there's something that you have on your list don't wait okay all right so I'm gonna do some paper pumpkin fun and the um, next pumpkin paper pumpkin is a pun set lots of pun and look how cute they are so um so if you're gonna want the paper pumpkin that has the pun you need to sign up by December the 10th that's the cutoff date if you wait till December the 11th then you won't get um, the kit you won't get this one you'll get the one after that but look how cute this is so punny 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 I love that but anyway so you don't want to miss that so you can go um, to my blog and it has the little link and it also um, down below in the YouTube video has all the links where you can find me where you can find the paper pumpkin and everything all right so these are the fun um, and look how big they are I was like oh my gosh these are pretty big like look at how big this is so these are great little boxes so we're gonna put a couple of the boxes together and they're super easy now it does come with you've got um, your twine and your little um, clips dimensionals it also comes with um, tear tape like a small roll of tear tape but I have been putting these together with my green tip glue green tip glue is a little more forgiving than the tear tape but the tear tape once it sticks it is stuck but with the green tip glue you have a couple seconds not a whole lot of time you know you still have to um, you know pay attention you know to what you're doing but you do have a little wiggle room with the green tip glue so that's what I used to put my boxes together but they're super easy to do now if you want to use the, the tear tape you totally can you might not have the green tip glue and it's not called green tip glue it's called mono multi-purpose but it has a green tip 
So that's what I always call it. All right, so I just got all my scores done and that's just gonna make it easier to fold the box. So I'm just putting some green tip glue. Let me get that pucka out of the tip of it. All right, so we're just gonna give it a squeeze. Just put that on the edge. And then I'm just bringing this over to here. And then just hold it for a second. Just hold it just for a second. And this is what I like about it because it, it sets up pretty firm. But like I said, you do have a little wiggle room. And then we're going to do that same thing on the other side. But I was like surprised when I saw how big they were. Because I don't like to look at any surprise videos. Like I know Stampin' Up! will put out... Um, they'll put out a video, right? Making the, the pumpkins. And I don't like to look. I like to just, um, it's like Christmas, right? I just like to wait till I have mine and enjoy the fun. Just, you know, organically. Would that be called organically? Where it's just natural. All right, so I'm just putting the green tip glue. And then I'll do the same thing. Bring my edges in. Bring my edges in. And just hold it and then your box is together so let's make one more and then I'll have one of each made and these are going to be fun little um, and I know I've mentioned before I use shipped like I don't go to the grocery store and I can't I couldn't can't because I can't even drive yet but um, but it's just easier I, I find like I spend less money because I have my recipe list, I know what I need, and I just, you know, go Target, and the shipped people shop for me. And what's nice about using like, like um, that kind of program, and there's probably others out there as well, they work for you, right? So they don't work for the store. Because I was having the grocery store people shop for me that worked at the grocery store, and I was getting some crud. Like, I was like, really? I think they were trying to get rid of things. And I'm like, I want the person shopping for me like they're me. I want them anal and particular. And what's nice is, you know, doing that way, they text you if something's, you know, not there. Or, you know, if they have to um, substitute something, they holler at you. And they're like, well, is it okay if I get you these apples instead of these apples? So, anyways. So, I always put out a little something-something. On the table, I always set a table out so they can put the bags on the table so they're not on the ground. So I always put a card or something, you know, that nature. But these are fun for things like that, right? So this will definitely be put out for my shipped person or the mailman when he delivers stuff to the house, right? Or the UPS. So these are just fun little gifts. If you um, do secret Santas at work, these would be perfect for that as well. And if you like, well, I, I miss the paper pumpkin. Um, they sometimes have refills. Usually now would be the time, um, but you have to be a subscriber in order to get the refills. And this one has a fun stamp. Now this one I don't think necessarily, like some of them you definitely would go, well, I, did, I missed the stamp set, right? Because the refills are just the guts, basically. Like not the stamp. But this one, I think you could just use Christmas sets that you have at home. You know, they might not be identical, but it would definitely work. All right. So we put the glue, and that's the last one I'm going to do for the video, just so you're not watching me put boxes together for half an hour. All right, so Jeff came home early today, so he could take me to the doctor's. So I've got my shoe all by the door, so I don't forget it. And I'm like hoping, 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 hoping that all will go well. Because the doctor says, if I don't get into shoes, my ankle is going to be, and I know my ankle is just... So stiff and fat, it's just horrible. Okay, so now 
This kit comes also with a flirty flamingo, but the kit, kit lists, and they always do, alternative stuff. Like, look how fun this is. I totally am going to do this banner. Look how fun that banner is. And if, a couple little cards over there. But it also talks about coordinating colors. So it coordinates with evening evergreen. The flirty flamingo is the little spot that it comes with. Old olive, pool party, and poppy parade. So I actually, I'm not going to use flirty flamingo. I even pulled the big pad out because usually when I um, do my paper pumpkins, I just use my, my big pads. I don't use the small one. I just kind of have a stack of those little ones. Um, but I am liking the darker. So I'm just peeling these all the way out here. So I like the darker. Um, boy, they didn't even waste any paper there, right? Like here, it's got a little piece. But look at these two are right beside each other. Very smart. All right. Um, but I liked the darker. So I have picked that I'm using the Poppy Parade and the Old Olive. All right, so now I'm looking all over for my mat. I swear it hides every, oh, here it is. Here it is. All right, so I want this because it is a photopolymer stamp set. So I'm gonna do my to and from. So my to and from, so I'm not having to wash the, the stamp over and over. I'm just gonna do to and from in old olive on all of them, the three I'm doing today. So to and from. And this stamp set, if you um, did get the kit, this is a cute stamp set. Oh my gosh, I love the font. I love the font. Sometimes I wish it was wood. Because there's certain ones I just like to have them mounted so I can always grab them. So I have a few on my desk, right, that are just clear mount. You know, they're, they're photopolymer, but they're stuck except for my chicken. And they're just sitting on my desk, so they never go back in their stamp set because they're great just to grab. All right, so I have my old olive. But I'm going to do my poppy parade. So I did a happy holidays. Let's do a Merry Christmas. But isn't this a fun font? I was like, wow, this is a big set. Like these are pretty big stamps. So we've got Merry Christmas. So these would be great to make somebody and then let them fill them, you know? Like say your boss or whatever is like, oh, I need a couple of things to give. And you go, well, I can make these little boxes up. And then you just let them fill, fill it with whatever. All right. And then this is cute too. Oh, what fun. Like, look how cute this one is. All right. So we have, oh, what fun. Let's see. Let's see. What else do I need to stamp? All right. Let me look at my instructions so this is the organic thing out of it right like i am just going with the flow all right very good and i need a kleenex Hang on a minute and all my excitement i don't breathe properly and it makes my nose run okay so we've got oh what fun now this is a this stamp or this um, cardstock is a little bit different than like our basic white. So it takes just a tad bit longer. Did I stamp one on there? Oh, hang on. I need to do another tag. Um, it takes a, just a little bit longer for it to dry. So that's why I like to do all my stamping first. And then I just set it aside. So it's all the way done. So then when you're assembling, you're just assembling. All right, so let's do my happy holidays. Now I love Poppy Parade. Poppy Parade is such a pretty bright red and it's perfect for Christmas. 
All right, so I think I did enough. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I think I only need two circles. All right. Now, it also comes with, um, so I didn't use these. So it also comes with these fun, where you could make your own presents, and it has a bow, but it also has some snow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my snow in a tiny little block. And that's going to fall on the floor. All right, so a tiny little block. And I thought this would be fun. So I need just a little grid sheet. And I want to put a little bunch of snowflakes. So we've got our happy holidays. So I want to have just a little bit of snowflakes on the top. Let me scoot down a little bit. I'm like way high up. There we go. So I'm just taking some pool party because this is another one of the colors that goes. And I'm just going to decorate the top. Isn't that cute with that little snowflake? Just kind of sprinkling on the top of my tag. I just love that. I love Poppy Parade and Pool Party together. They are such a, um, to me, they're such a vintage, chic um, kind of combination. Like that you would find in an old kitchen. So the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on my two and my from. I won't do it to all of them. And how about my old what fun. So I'll just do it on a couple. And then I can always decide and do it on more if I want later. So oh what fun. But isn't that, oh my gosh, I totally want to repaint my studio pool party. I totally do. Now when I say I want to, I want to have painters do it because I don't want to do it myself. <laughs> all right, so we've got this going on, this going on. Scoot all those over there. All right, now one thing I did do different, I did put my tree together earlier. I didn't decorate it, but I wanted to just kind of see how it went. So let me get the tree just to show you. All right, so this is what I did with the tree. So the tree, you have, you know, it's fairly big. And there's like, like a mark on here that tells you where to put the box. So it's super, super easy. So we're just going to take our box, you know, and we're just glue it on there. Now I'm not going to because I already glued one. So you're just going to glue it on there. But then it tells you to go like this, right? Because then you have the box mark from the other one. But personally, I don't like to see this. I don't want to see the back side of it because... You know, I'm just going to set it on the shelf or give it to somebody. And there's a front side and a back side. So what I did was I put it together like this. Now, this is just my choice. You can do it, the, you know, the right way. Um, but when I see it, I want to just see the tree, right? I don't want to see that back. All right. So that's why I put my tree together like that. All right. So let me move this aside. So let's get our snowman. So the snowman's kind of the same way, right? It's got the mark on there. So we're just gonna take, I'm gonna put it on here. So I'm just putting my glue within that glue area that it gives you. And then I'm just putting my box on there. And I want it to stay within the snowman. So it's the same thing. So it's like, well, oops, hang on. See, I'm getting too, too much of a hurry. All right. Give it a little bit longer to glue before you touch it. So then you can decide, well, do you want to see this? Or do you want to just see like the snowman again? So let's just see. All right. So we have our snowman. So if I glue this here, you're going to see the back. Now, it's not so bad with the snowman, I think, because it's that, that pretty blue. Or you can turn it this way and glue it on there. And then you have your snowman. And see, I just kind of like 
having a snowman. All right, but let's do one the right way. And then you can decide which which way you want, which you prefer. All right, so put that on. Again, stay within the line, but kind of stand it up and make sure that your snowman is sitting flush. All right, so he looks good. He's standing flush. So it's not too bad just because it's soft, but that tree, it was so red, right? That it was just a little more like in your face. So this won't be too bad. Plus we are putting a bag. So it comes with these cute little bags. And that bag is going to go in here, so you won't necessarily see that. All right, let's get our bag. And then I have these fun red and white candies. And you can get these off of Amazon. They're just red bird, um, what are these? Red bird something something. They're like, what? they're just very yummy. So I just got them. I usually try to have some candies on hand for my, um, you know, for my 3D stuff. All right, so let's see. Is that too much? You don't want to overstuff it. So what I should have did, I think I put too many in there. All right, we're going to put our bag in the box first. Much smarter. And then we're going to fill it. Because I had way too many candies. But look how cute with the red and the white. So we're going to put those in there. And then we're going to tie it. So I have, like I said, I have to go to the doctor. So I might. I know I'm going to take her a little um, ornament, my little piggy ornament. Since she, um, she um, fixed my piggies. You know, your, your um, toe piggies. <laughs> All right. So maybe I'll take her. One of these too. All right, so I'm gonna take my thing. Now, what does it say to do with this? Oh, this is just simply, oh, it's on the tag. So this is your, oh, what fun. With these little um, clips. So let me pour that out of there. I didn't even use the dimensionals yet. All right, it's got these fun little clips. So we're gonna go, oh, what fun. So look how fun, isn't it? I love it with that little bit of snowflake on there. So we're gonna go, oh, what fun. Clip it on there. I don't want it to go over my writing. Come on. Get on there. All right, got that. And then I need to cut a piece of this. Because this, and I'm sure it tells me how much, but I'm just doing however much I want. All right, so we're going to tie a pretty little bow on here. We're also going to tie a bow around our bag. So look how fun that is. All right. So we've got our bag and our tag. All right, so we have this. So let's put our name. Maybe I won't. I'll put on after. Because I don't want to put her name on the camera. It, just in case, right? Just for security or whatever. So I'll add it after. Alright. So we have our tag. Plus she got married, right? So I'm wondering if her last name will change. Although, when they called me to remind me about my appointment, they still... Set her regular name. All right. And maybe she'll keep her. Her doctor. Her regular doctor's name. For her professional. Right? All right. Some people don't take their husband's name. You know, if they're in a business beforehand. All right. So we're just going to tie... So fun. All right, so I'm just tying, tying that around. Fix your tag. And then another bow. So 
So we could decide, you know, if we want to fill that bag, you know, before or after. But you just don't want to tear it. But oh my gosh, is that not so cute? I cannot wait. And I can easily put her name on there. So let's see. Oh, so, so that's the one. All right. So let me see. We've got a cute snowman. Oh my gosh. So, so cute. I cannot wait. All right. So I'm going to have to see if they do have refills of this. All right. So we have our candy and our tree. Let's get some more candy. Just because I don't want to tear that. I just think it's a little easier to stick that bag in there empty. All right, more candy. And believe me, this candy is so yummy that you eat one and then you're back for more. All right, so that's good. Now this one, I'm gonna use the green because it's a tree. So we've got our two in our firm. And again, it probably tells me how much ribbon I'm supposed to be using. But I'm just cutting whatever. So don't do as I say. Don't do as I do, do as I say or whatever. But I have, like if I run out of baker's twine, I'm not gonna worry about it because I have other baker's twine. All right. So I'm not gonna worry about it. So now we're gonna tie this around here. And I don't even know how many candies I put in it. This is just so cute. All right. Tie, tie, tie. I just need to remember to, to grab these. I also made a little piggy ornament for the pork shop. I don't know if you've been out to Santan Valley. We have a really good pork shop by us where they have fresh pork. So I thought, oh, they're gonna definitely want a little um, piggy ornament. All right, so there we have that. And then this one has the Merry Christmas. But before I put the Merry Christmas on, I'm gonna go and get some bling over here. Hang on a minute. What do I have in my handy dandy little bling box? Look how cute these would be. So I'm gonna take some of these. Hang on a minute, cut that off of there. So this is just the red rhinestone. Now this does not come with it. I just thought it'd be fun. Where's my poker? Where is my poker, poker, poker? Oh, here it is. Wouldn't it be fun to put a little bit of bling? All right. So we're just going to put some red and I'm just putting them right on the red ones that are already there because then they're just going to be even bigger, like, you know, cause it's got that red background. So it's just going to have them have a little sparkle and you could really go to town with it. I mean, you could really add even more, but I'm just gonna put a few just so that there's a little sparkle going on. So look how cute that is with that little bit of sparkle. Can you see? Let's see if it catches the light. I love that. All right. So then we'll put our Merry Christmas and our little tag or a little clip. So you can see that adding that snowflake really did make that um, Merry Christmas tag way cuter, right? So let me grab this Happy Holidays one because I did it. So I think that looks a lot cuter. So I'll have to add those snowflakes to my Merry Christmas. Because I think it just adds to it. it. Just makes it even more cuter. We also could add some Wink of Stella to our tree. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, so this is just another little tie. So look how cute the tree is. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it. All right, then we also have so, all right, so let me do this before I forget. So let me do my Merry Christmas. And where's my pool party? Where's my pool party? Pool party and my snow. Where's my snow? Right here. Totally 
just brings that to life. That little pop of pool party with that poppy parade. All right, and then, so that means I need to do my to and my from. My to and my from, I think we're playing on the tree, but that's okay. That's okay. So then you also got presents, a whole stack of presents to do. So, so these are here. So again, now this one you would definitely have to do it the right way because see, it's not, you know, it's not like it's the same picture. Like, um, you know, what am I saying? Identical, right? Or the tree was identical. So, um, or what am I saying? What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, so this one even more so. That's what I'm talking about. So this one, I think you do want to go like that. Even though it's not that way. Just because I think it's going to sit on a shelf, right? It's going to sit on a shelf like this. So I don't think anyone's going to come to the back of it. So I'm going to do the same thing. That's just me being anal. All right, where's my other little box? Right here. Green tip glue. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the tree. And I'm going to put the presents. So follow that line. Looks good. Give it a push. So I'm going to put my presents the same way so that I don't see that back. So I'm going to go like this. So green tip glue. In it and see now it's going to match up so like I did before put that on there just quick just really really quick and then set it up and just make sure that the back side is touching the table and then you know that it's good just because you you don't have that um, mark right so because the box is up it's not um level like see there's a little bit of a space it's not um you know the box is inside i don't know why they didn't have it be like flush but they didn't so all right so let's get our bag and this is the last one that i'm going to demo i mean it made three how many did it make three of each three of each but i want to do a banner so I don't, I'm not going to make them all into boxes. I'm going to make a banner because the banners are too stinking cute. Wouldn't that be fun in the entryway? And you could um, put them space in between them and then you could hang some Christmas cards along with it as well. And some ribbon. Like you could really go to town with the banner and really... Um, Really fill it in if you want it. All right, so there's that. I'm going to do the red again. Okay, so you've got red. And my tag. And we could even put some sparkling stuff on this too. Some bling bling with the presents. All right, do my tag. I'm probably not even in the camera. I'm just having so much fun. I'm not even paying attention. All right. So it's going to go on our bag. But these are so fun. Oh my gosh. They like are way funner than I thought they were going to be. And they're way bigger than I thought they were going to be. But like I said, I didn't watch any um, preview videos. So when I just saw, you know, the picture of the snowman, I don't know what size I was thinking. But, oops, hang on a minute. But it wasn't this size, for sure. But I'm glad, because you could put quite a bit of stuff. You could even put some cash in there. All right. 
There's the cute little present. All right, so we've got our Merry Christmas with our tag and our clip. So what am I doing in the clip? Because the clips are pretty strong. I don't want it to tear the paper. So I'm just giving it a little push just to kind of loosen it up a little bit so that when I clip it on the present, it's, it's a little bit open. All right, what did I pick? Did I pick red? Just so that you don't tear that. Um, you don't want to tear the paper or bend it, pushing that clip on. So, too cute. All right, so let's see. So we've got that going on. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. So you've got your two in there from. So it's easy enough to write the two in the from on there later. But let me um, scoot up a little bit. So we've got our fun more snowman. So I have one. So I have four more snowmen. And here's our tree. More tags. More clips. And then the snowman. So see, the snowman wasn't too bad, you know, by putting that back there. And maybe people would. I think I will if I do another bag. You know but I wanted these to be from the front so anyways but aren't they cute and they are so big so we've still got leftover four snowmen four tree four presents so that can be quite a big banner so I think I'll make um, two more boxes of each and then do the rest for banners with the Christmas cards and then you have a bunch of bags left so it's definitely a cute cute paper pumpkin so like I said don't forget if you um, are wanting to do the the lots of pun or if by chance I don't want to say that there's leftovers or refills um, but, but you cannot get refills unless you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. Um, so anyway, so you want to make sure you go to my blog and sign up to get Paper Pumpkin. It's super, super fun. All right, so let me flip and say bye. So thank you so much for... Um, Spending some time with me. These boxes are so cute, right? I hope the doctor likes it. Um, I think I'm going to do the snowman and the little piggy ornament. So this is the piggy ornament, remember? The little piggy ornament. So I'm going to give her a little piggy. Thank you for repairing my piggies. <laughs> so anyways, that one's mine. Hers is over. And I'll probably put it in a little box too. So anyway, all right, so that's all now for me. Um, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow for my Whatcha Makin' Wednesdays. And um, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks so much for um, spending some time with me today. All right, bye for now.